everybody, David Moffat here from X Annex Tabletop Gaming, and I'm coming at you with day eight of War Boss Tay's Paint Challenge 2020 in July and beyond. Today's question is, if you could learn more about any painting or modeling technique, what would it be? Well, I would have to say, there's a lot I want to learn, but painting miniatures with oil paints has really intrigued me. And I haven't really delved deep into watching too many videos on it yet, but I know it is possible. I like the results, and it just seems really interesting. But it does have the downside of all the fumes, I think, from the mineral spirits. I don't know. You know what? I'm just saying things. I don't even know. I have to, I have to look into it. I just have to research more. But yeah, oil painting on miniatures seems pretty darn cool. That's what I'd like to learn, amongst a million other things. Okay. Let's pull up the chat. There we go. Let's move over to the live stream. And let's take a look at what I'm working on. Today, I think I'm just going to be putting some lead belcher on my terminators and then calling it a night. I had, I had some bat repping today. Doing the bat reps. Lots of fun. Well, just one bat rep. Five parsecs from home, brain heist, lots of fun. Hard work, I think it busted my brain. I also, one of the tables I rolled on to get a new character was a something called a stalker, which, uh, that's telling me my Twitch is on, okay, it was a stalker, which is a character who is genetically modified by the Unity space government and they can teleport and hide and that's pretty cool and i had a hero clicks miniature blink and she teleports and she's good at hiding i think and she was cool but the paint job of course was a hero clicks paint job so i decided i was going to take some nail polish and remove it and it was phenomenal there's just stringy gunk of paint it's so thick I think the sculpt underneath might look awesome. However, I'm kind of lightheaded from all the nail polish remover. I tried to do it in a well-ventilated area, but I think it just, I just worked on it too long. So, you know, that's all there is to it. If that doesn't make any sense, I'm gonna blame it on the nail polish remover. With vitamin E. Well, there we go, that's the screen I want. Oh yeah, I'll play some music too. Music. There we go. All right. Now we should be good. We've been on for three minutes. Nice. Hello, Bythron. How are you doing today? Are you going to pull the trigger on those, on that sprue, do you think? Did you get up to much today? You're working on the Sentinels? Yeah, the Minstra is working on a blink wasn't sentinels it was phalanx yeah she was the original character was killed by the phalanx i remember that because i was reading comics at the time i'm like oh who's this cool new character and then they killed her and then the age of apocalypse came and then she was back and i was like all right and that's the version i got the age of apocalypse exiles one yeah if i can get that paint off and rebuild there's a lot of gaps on her too rebuild her repaint her should look really good I think. Uh oh, allergies. Yeah, I might got hit with allergies today too. I'm not sure. Could have just been thinking too much. It's been a long time since I played a miniatures game. There we go. Yeah. I've mostly debased all the uh, hero clicks that I have. I got a hobgoblin hanging out in stripper right now. I want to repaint him too. But I'm just using a regular stripper for that one. So I don't think it's going to come off. But he's not as gunked up as Blink was. She was pretty, pretty janky. Not a good quality one. Ah, you got some work on the G.I. Joes. That's good. It's real good. Who did you work on today?
Yeah, the blink is a good sculpt. It's a shame about the uh, the pre-paint. Lampreys and Steel Brigade. Nice. Yeah, originally I was just gonna like do some touch-ups, maybe put a wash on or something, but then as I examined her, I could see gaps in the neck, gaps in the shoulder. I'm like, oh, well, I'm just gonna have to take her apart. And then, yeah, I just kinda, kinda got carried away from there. Just a little carried away. first. Sure, let's do you. The cool fist guy. So I'll do this entire bolt gun. You have a Spider-Man 2099? Nice. Yeah, I like Spider-Man 2099. I also like Doom 2099. Can't remember what other 2099s there were. Is there a Ghost Rider 2099? I used to read a lot of comics. And then it just stopped. Yeah, do a little superhero gaming. Could be fun. I do have some people. As long as it's like a system is agnostic, I could just throw a bunch of guys together, I think. Doom Army, nice. And a Hulk, Hulk 2099? Ah, was sticking on there yesterday. Why isn't it sticking on today? Curse you. I could just be befuddled too. Not doing it right. I feel like my lights are off. There we go. What else do I got in the hero clicks? I got Moon Knight. I got Dark Side. I got Venom. Henry Pym. That's just a scientist -y guy. I bought him to make a good uh, civilian. Uh, I'm going to say Amethyst. I think that's a DC character. I got Electra, who I use in Rangers of Shadow Deep sometimes. And uh, the voodoo lady from Marvel. Can't remember her name. With the dreads. Anything else? Bolt metal? I could do it around here, sure. Little hip things, maybe. Maybe not. I might as well do the tubing. Then we'll put just some dark templar on it afterwards. Same with the cowling? Sure. Same with the cowling. This is cowling. Calypso, yeah. Calypso. That's who it is. 
Yeah, the dark side's small. He's a nice sculpt, though. He just bought a lot. I think it's because I liked the Calypso sculpt. And there was also a Hobgoblin. I was like, well, I'll take a Calypso and a Hobgoblin. And there's a few others in the in the lot. Venom. He was in the lot lot. So yeah, the dark side wasn't the uh, big draw for me. But I ended up liking him. Yeah, that Henry Pym makes a great civilian. I also got... It's not Mystique. It's not Nightcrawler. It's like a lady Nightcrawler. I don't know who that character is. I have one of those. And I have someone that looks like Cleopatra. I don't know who she is. Ah, Easter just single hero clicks. Nice. Didn't do any research today on the sword or the force axe. So I'm not sure what color they're going to be still. is going to do that one brass, so I'll leave that. I'll have to dig out all my hero clicks. I got them scattered about a little bit. The Moon Knight is also particularly terrible. Very uh, thick white paint. thing I should just leave it I'll leave it like that okay Tube in there. A standing uh, Moon Knight. Yeah, my guy's got like uh, crescents in one hand and uh, nunchucks in the other. Can't remember if he's what pose he's in. You probably know the one though. Okay. Oh yeah, his gun. Yeah. There's a lot of work to strip him though. What do you usually use to strip him? If you strip him. I have used straight up acetone. It's kind of nasty stuff. So I prefer not to use acetone. I definitely do that outside. I should probably use the nail polish remover outside. It's got enough acetone in it to be a bummer. Nail polish remover and a Q-tip, huh? Yeah, I tried that with something else and wasn't doing it. I might need better nail polish remover too. I don't know. And sometimes they're just harder than other times too. So I've noticed that... Uh, even now, just like leaving the uh, miniature to soak in acetone, or the, uh, not the acetone, the nail polish remover. 
some of the paints come off a lot easier than others. Doesn't really melt that plastic though. Originally I had her on uh, this base and I'm like, oh, I gotta redo it. And this one was starting to melt in the acetone. But the plastic they're made out of seems a little more resistant. Yeah, yeah, I did repaint some of them. If they don't look too bad, I'll just repaint them, but there's a few a chunky. Like Venom. Venom's really good. Really don't even have to do anything with Venom. He's good to go as he is. Just give him a little basing. The uh, Hobgoblin isn't too bad. He's just kind of sopily painted. I think Dark Side's good. Okay. Yeah, that'll be good for him. Ooh. Yeah, that sword's going to be problematic. Excuse me. Yeah, you must use a nail polish remover with a bit more acetone in it. It always melts eventually, but depending on the level of acetone, it'll be sometimes a little more resistant than other times. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, Blink, I found her stance was a little bit too wide for the uh, 25. Mostly because of the the discs on her feet. If I cut it off the discs, because you know some of them have discs and some don't. If I cut off the discs, she would fit better on 25, but I think that 30 is fine. I think it's a 30. Oh, your your nail polish remover is one hundred percent acetone. It's <laughs> it's not even a nail polish remover. Then that's just it's a hardware store acetone. It's crazy that they would market it as a nail polish remover. Yeah, the acetone I got before was in a metal tin, and just they couldn't store it inside because of the fumes. So I stored it outside and just evaporated in the heat because I didn't have a garage to put it in. So I just had it on my balcony. It's a lot easier if you have a garage to put it in. It'll last a little longer that way. I wonder what percentage of acetone this one is. Let's see. It doesn't even say. It did say extra strength, but yeah. Not that strong. But it does have pro vitamin B5 and vitamin E, so that's always nice. For your miniatures, I guess. Ooh, you sent a picture. Oh, your internet's a little off. Oh, yeah. Dang. Yeah, I'm going to get some of that. That'll do it. You sold me on it. Next time I uh, get stuff from Walmart. I got this one at the dollar store.
Okay. Oh yeah, did you uh, find out about your family crest? Oops. Knock the mic. Try and screen stuff your uh, sentinels? Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, no worries. I'm not at that stage yet anyway. I'm getting these shields done. Oh yeah, did you want to be the... Uh, did you want to have your crest on the... Sergeant? Or the... Chain Fist Assault Gun Guy? They're both pretty cool, though this guy's bald. I don't know if you like bald guys or not. Alright, Sergeant it is. These guys have some pretty big chunky tubing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The sergeant's definitely been around a little longer. I saw a post, I think, on Discord where someone was saying they liked liquid green stuff for uh, doing mohawks on the bald marines. That sounds pretty fun. I might try that with uh, my plastic putty on somebody. I wonder if that is a charging port. That's how I think of that anyway. It's got to be his charging port. That's where he plugs in. Or did they say buzz cuts? Maybe they said buzz cuts. But yeah, you could probably do like a little mohawk. That'd be fun. My wife is doing some uh, babysitting for our friend who just got a job. So our daughters are hanging out together. That's really cool. And she's babysitting during the day, so that's why I get all the time to do bat reps. And they're also going to bed earlier and getting up earlier, so I gotta also get up earlier now, too. Which is good. I like getting up earlier. So I have to readjust to getting up. I've been setting my alarm for like 7, but or 7.30. But I've just been laying about in bed, usually until 8.30. And actually I actually have to get up and at them in the mornings. No, there's a little mold line underneath there that I missed. Not a big deal. It's not too visible.
So I was catching up on some of my YouTube shows. And I heard uh, my Tau guy talking about Tau and how they get Overwatch all the time, I think. Instead of uh, being subjected to command points like everybody else in the new 40k. But they can't jump shoot jump in melee. But overall, being able to overwatch more often is good. So, Tau might be back on the table for you if you wanted to go that way. It's a little messy looking over there. Hmm. That ah, should be okay. I feel like I missed something. I don't think I did. But it feels like I did. Oh, that's what I missed. The belt buckle. Oh, you can print off some Masters of the Universe. Did you print off Castle Grayskull yet? Yeah, contrast paints are really good for the nulls, that's for sure. I use contrast paints on mine, the old method, before I really settled on Zenithal priming on them. And they look too good still. Really cuts down a lot of the work, that's for sure. <laughs> Castle Grayskull, low on the priority list. Oh. Back. Ah, your printer's still downstairs. Do you think you're going to move it into your new room? Yeah, my plan was to uh, maybe try out the new 9th edition PDF for 40k. And I might still do that, but after playing some 5 parsecs today, I just kind of want to pay more 5 parsecs. It's going to stay downstairs as I have to have a sauna in my gaming room. Oh, wow. That makes sense. If that's where it's set up, that's where it's set up. in your gaming room. Sounds relaxing, at least. You could have Dicey Guy for a game. Scandinavians love saunas. Nobody uses it, but I was until someone didn't want me going into the room. But now it's in my room. Ha 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 ha. Oop, bump. Knock the microphone again. Actually, probably. 
This, uh... Lead Belcher dries fast. That's for sure. I need a little more water in my wet palette. As well. You like the look of some of the new ones? Which ones uh, caught your eye the most? Was it the guy with the skeleton on his shield? So I'd say they're all pretty good looking, but none of them really uh, grabbed at me. I would just, I would be happy to have all of them. But I didn't fall in love with any. Maybe if I started working on one. I'd feel it a little more. There we go. Hmm. -hmm. All right. You want more power armor style warriors? I can understand that. Yeah. I like Drukhari, for sure. Witches, the Cabalites. Their little uh speeders. I like those. Some of the units are kinda weird looking to me, but not those ones. So many things to build. I know the feeling. I got one more Death Watch guy to build. I kind of want to build some more tactical marines that I'm converting into veterans. But I should probably get to work on uh, building the Series 3 Death Guard next. That's what I really should do. Plus all the painting I gotta do, of course. But when I'm in build mode, you know. The uh, Series 3 Death Guard are all snap fit, so those should go pretty fast. Okay, yeah, I think I'll leave that that color. Yeah, I got a baggie here. I'm gonna do, my last one's gonna be a, uh, um, it's a heavy bolter and a heavy flamer. Maybe it's called Infernus Bolter. See, I got them set up here, ready to go. Next time I sit down and build of something, it'll be him. Death Watch were a lot of fun to build. I was pretty happy with that kit. Alright. 
Yeah, I went with a... Uh, well, just mostly the stuff I like the looks of, but I really wanted to go with things that were in two hands. So I did a... Uh, shotgun. And the frag cannon. And I'm pretty sure I did a thunder hammer. I can't even remember now. I'll take a break and I'll look. Actually, I'll finish this guy, and then I'll take a look. That's a better plan. And then the black shield I gave two weapons to, and as well as the watch captain. Because I figured you should have a combi weapon. I almost never have combi weapons. I think it's different now. Because I remember back in the day, combi weapons, you only got to shoot the one... The combi part once, and then the rest of the game you just had to have a bolter, so I was never really in love with them. But I think it's different now. I think you could choose which one you shoot, or shoot both of them even. But I'm not too certain. There we go. Nice. Death Watch are pretty easy to paint if you just hit them with Black Templar and give them a colorful arm. Or you can make them into specific chapters, which is cool too. I got my little stubby dreadnought. The red guy. Brother Caster. My wife's commander. My daughters. Love my daughters. That one turned out really well. There we go. Here's the guy with the frag cannon. Cybertronian warrior. Death guard. Death guard. Cat girl. Cat girl. Multi melta. No. Yeah, multi melta. Train Rass. Man, I got a lot of things to prime. There we go. This is my watch captain. So he's got a Xeno phase blade and the uh, combi plasma gun and bolter. I really do like that idea too of getting XP in the 40k narrative. That is, that is pulling me towards 40k, having the uh, campaign system. Just built in from the get-go, you know, that's the point. There we go. Here's my shotgunner. I like shotgunner. <laughs> He's got a casual swagger. And then... One, two, three. So there should be two more, I think. One or two more. Oh, there's my guy with the plasma pistol. Because I love plasma pistols. Hmm. Actually looking at it. Thinking I'd fill that in a bit more. Heavy bolter. That yellow plastic is not easy on the eyes. Is that sergeant? The flamer guy. Space wolf guy with a knifey knife. Tau. Uh oh, lost weapon. I guess the pin was too small. Might have to redo that then. Yeah, I'm not too sure about the AOS one. There we go. This guy. It's my black watch. I gave him a little pistol. Or black shield. Not black watch. Black shield. And that's it. Okay. This is my mistress. I'm going to paint her up with blue skin and Wonder Woman colors for her outfit. I think she'll look pretty good. I'll leave you out. And now I have to leave you out too. Yep. 
I'm not sure what happens in AOS. I always find AOS confusing, and I don't know why. I did try the game, finally. And it was good. I liked it. Lots in the priming queue. Excuse me. Hmm. Maybe that's in the new General's Handbook. Was it in the new General's Handbook? Ah, there we go. Yeah, those books aren't cheap, that's for sure. But at least the main AOS rules are free. When I bought the uh, starter set off a dude on uh, the black market, he also gave me his General's Handbook 2018. So I have that. Yeah, you definitely have other games you can level up your dudes. So if you do specifically want Age of Sigmar, that's the way to go. And maybe I should read up, see what's in the General's Handbook 2020. I'll keep playing all the starter games anyway for the Age of Sigmar stuff I have. And decide if I like it in the end. I'll finish off the Storm of Sigmar. And then I'll do the the uh which call her now? The Night Haunt one. And Sigmarines guys. Stormstrike? Maybe it was called Stormstrike. I do respect the fact that they've always kept a lot of the uh, stuff for Age of Sigmar free. It's pretty cool. And you can bring in your old hammer units if you really, really want to. You still find a lot of the points and stuff on the free app. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, if you go through the app, you could probably find them again. I'm not sure if the General's Handbook 2020 has the skirmish rules. But I do have the, the White Dwarves that have the skirmish rules. And I've wanted to give those a try, but I figured I better learn how to play Age of Sigmar first. And I finally got around to it. I should probably film a bat rep on those guys, actually. All right, can we reach? Yes, we can.
Yeah. It's, I like putting the app on my phone and just looking at it sometimes. Looking at all the different units. They don't have liches anymore, so I can't run everything from my old undead, but the, most of it's in there. Ghosts are different now. I'd have to figure out a night haunt equivalent for a ghost. Probably Chain Rasp be fine. Because my ghosts were never in a swarm. They're a pre-swarm. And the thing I've never figured out is, can you always just take soup whenever you want? I think so. Because some of my stuff is represented in the Tomb King's things, and some in the Vampire Counts, and then some in Death Rattle now, and things like that. So I don't know if I could just slap it all together. I think I can. This is my mystery. There we go. Did I color this guy's back? Or did I forget? Yeah, I did do it. Okay. Ah, paint on your pants. That sucks. Yeah, I always have... Uh, usually when I'm working on miniatures and stuff, I have this... These muscle shirts, which are pretty disposable for me. And then... Uh, old swimming trunks I like to wear. I cut out the mesh part and just lounge around in them. And you always have patterns and stuff, so if they get a little spillage on them, it's not too bad. But yeah, I hate it when you get paint on your good clothes. Good. Oh, Batman pants. That's no good. Definitely don't want paint on your Batman pants. You could uh, try some isopropyl alcohol too on it. Let it soak if the paint is hardened. And then uh, see if that'll work it loose before you put it in the wash. Which one will you finish? Lampreys or Steel Brigade? Why not both? How many of each do you have? I do like the storm bolter with the giant clip that hangs off to the side. As opposed to like the two clip storm bolters. I 
Three steel, two lampreys. Hmm. I bet you could do it. I bet you could do both. Okay. A little belt buckle. Yeah, this shouldn't take too long. Not with the power of contrast paints by your side. The next stage for these guys are going to be some Basilicanum Gray. It's going to be nice. Nice. 